Switching our eyes to the skies now with Emily Skydema. Monday nights, we take a look at what we can see mm -hmm. in our beautiful sky. How's it looking this week? You know, we have some cool things that we'll be able to see. This first one, you can't see with the naked eye, but you might have heard about it. It's pretty cool. It's the mini moon. So the mini moon is just an asteroid. Uh, it's about 6 to 12 feet in diameter, and right now it's orbiting the Earth. So asteroids are likely orbiting the Earth really at all times, but they're hard to see. So that's what's rare about this. Eventually, the mini moon is going to break out of orbit. It's going to go back into space. And right now, it's forecast to leave the orbit in April. So again, you can't see it with the naked eye, but still something we've been hearing about recently. If you want to look up tonight, here's what you can expect. First quarter moon, and that means it's half full, 50% illuminated. Mercury is not visible, but Venus is visible just after sunset, so now would be a good time to head out and see if you can see anything. Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn are all going to be visible before sunrise. You want to look to the southeast to see that. Later on this week, the moon is directly going to be overhead Orion. That happens after dark on Tuesday. Also, all week long, the Big Dipper is going to be rising in the northeast. By the time we get to Thursday, we'll have a waxing gibbous moon, so that's about three quarters of the way full. Finally, look at this. Ooh. Had to finish off on a beautiful note. Isaac sent us this picture of the northern lights over Lake Superior. This was taken in Calumet, Michigan, so in the UP, and it really does not get any better than Gorgeous. that. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like a painting. I know. It's hard to believe yeah. that's actually yeah. captured by, right. by a camera. Absolutely Incredible. beautiful. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Emily.